Hi, Fred. How are you, Deborah? Um, what do you know about hepatitis C? Uh, I had a mate who had hep C. Well, I have got a mate who had hep C. He reckons he got it from um, dodgy tattoos, but I'm not really sure how you get it. Okay, that, well, that's certainly possible getting it from a tattoo. In Australia, the most common ways people get hep C is through sharing of injecting equipment. Any injecting equipment, not just the needles and syringes, it might be sharing the water, the filter, the spoons, all those things. And that's a very high risk because the virus can be injected directly into the bloodstream. Hep C is all about blood. Anything that allows somebody else's blood to enter another person's bloodstream could be a risk for Hep C. So certainly unsterile tattooing, particularly prison tats or backyard tats can be a risk. Mm -hmm. Fighting can pass on bloodborne viruses from one person to another. Medical procedures overseas and uh, blood transfusions in Australia before 1990 when a test became available. Um, hep C is not classed as a sexually transmitted infection. I was just going to ask that, can you get it through sex? Yeah, um, a lot of people think that it is, but hep C is not in sexual fluids, it's only in blood. So if a sexual practice uh, involves blood and a, then a way for that blood to enter another person's bloodstream, that can be a risk for hep C. Right. But yeah. it is very, very mm -hmm. rare for hep C to be passed on sexually. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yeah, so if it's solely in blood though, what about razors? Could you get it through sharing a razor? Yes, you Shaving? can. You can get hep C through sharing personal grooming items. However, the risk is much lower than sharing injecting equipment. We do recommend people to keep their own personal grooming items, razors, toothbrushes, things that may have small amounts of blood on it, kept to themselves. Yeah, right. Because. Um, my girlfriend used to use my razor all the time and she used to inject sometimes as well. Okay. Yeah. So you think that you may have been at risk at some point for hep C? Oh, I suppose so. I guess I might have, yeah. Okay, Fred. Well, since you think you may have been at risk for hep C, we can actually run a test today. The test itself only takes a couple of minutes to do and then we process it over an hour and I can give you a call in about an hour's time with the results. Okay. So. What if it's positive? What, what if, do I have to do the treatment? Or, because I think my liver's okay, actually. Uh, there are lots of benefits for having treatment for hep C. It can improve your quality of life overall. It can reduce your risk of getting liver failure or liver cancer. It reduces your risk of all cause mortality as well as liver related mortality as well. And treatment for hep C can also improve your fibrosis and your cirrhosis scores. So yeah, there right. are great benefits to treatment. Treatment is really easy these days. It just involves tablets for 12 or eight weeks, depending on what treatment you're prescribed. And the hardest thing really around having the treatment is remembering to take the pills about the same time every day. So I'd put a reminder on your phone. Mm -hmm. Most people have no side effects to the treatment either. It's really oh, easy to take nice them. Okay. Yeah, very effective. And just about everyone who has the treatment is cured of their hep C infection. Oh, okay.
just in case it comes back positive, does the treatment cost much? Um, do you have a health care card? Yes. Well, the treatment will cost you about $7, but if you didn't have a health care card, it'd probably be around the $40 mark a month. Oh, is that all? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing to remember that you can have treatment more than once. If you actually get reinfected with hep C, you can have treatment again. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I'll call you in an hour with the result. Okay. Thanks very much, Deborah. No worries. Cheers. Beauty. Thanks. Talk to you later.